Welcome. The purpose of Delay Analyzer is to drastically reduce the time required to solve mysteries in the schedule about how and why the finish date moved. And in this video, we're going to use Delay Analyzer to analyze a comparison period and solve one of those mysteries. So let's get started. We're in Primavera and we're looking at a baseline schedule and the same schedule one month later. We can see that the finish date slipped from April 22nd to the 26th, which is four calendar days. Since it occurs in the week, it's also four working days. So let's look at the same schedules in Delay Analyzer and dig into how and why that happened. On the overview report, we can see the delay as represented by the black line and the pink bar but Delay Analyzer breaks it down for you to tell a more complete story. The solid red line shows that there were 16 calendar days of progress delays offset by two days of progress recovery, that's the solid blue line, and 10 days of recovery from schedule revisions. Now, you may need to explain those delays and recoveries, and this is what Delay Analyzer does so well. I will click on this period and I can instantly see that the 16 days of delay were due to those first two activities. Each delayed the finish date by eight days. I can also see the two days of progress recovery was that third activity. Great, but what about the 10 days of recovery due to schedule revisions? How and why did that happen? I'll click on the link at the bottom to see a list of revisions in this period. Looking at the timeline, we break down the revisions for you into three groups. Working from the bottom up, I can see that some WBS entries were added, but those sections themselves wouldn't cause any kind of recovery. Next, we have some remaining duration changes, and I can see that those may have contributed to the 10-day recovery but those changes were pretty minimal. Looks like they may have only recovered a day or two at most. However, when I look at the calendar revisions, I can see that a bunch of exceptions, i.e. non-working days, were removed from the calendar. And these calendar modifications impacted a bunch of activities. Since we don't know the exact order of all of the revisions, we can't say mathematically that these caused the 10 days, but because the other revisions were so minimal, it seems very likely. And look how quickly we got here. By comparison, if you're using tools that show you a simple list of differences, imagine trying to explain how those 10 days were recovered. You've easily saved hours or possibly days of analysis. For more information on Delay Analyzer, please visit us at SteelRay.com. Thank you.